a still a very powerful and widening Category 2 hurricane this morning with winds of 105 miles per hour and a pressure of 964 millibars. At 9 a.m. Eastern Time, it was at 29.5 north, 79.5 west. The CDPS scale is still looking at Charleston, South Carolina for a potential landfall on September 5th. Uh, stage 6 on the CDPS, strong winds and increasing storm size and, size and heavy rainfall for the area. Storm surge will probably be a big issue if the storm draws anywhere near the coast. Here is the wind field at this point in time. Uh, it's only expanded very slightly since last night, um, but still the storm is growing nonetheless and the hurricane force wind field as well will be growing as the storm continues north-northwest. Currently 94 miles from Daytona Beach, 113 from St. Augustine, 143 from Jacksonville, 201 from Savannah and 229 from Charleston. The warnings haven't changed since last night either, so hurricane warning, at least beyond the storm that is, Sebastian Inlet to Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida, hurricane watch extending all the way up to the North Carolina-Virginia border, and tropical storm watches up to Chincoteague, Virginia. A storm surge warning for Jupiter Inlet to Surf City remains in place, and a storm surge watch from Surf City to Pocosin, Virginia, and the Pomlico and Albemarle Sound. So looking at the models over the next few days, uh, the rainfall extent, the pink areas there showing 3 inches of rain or higher and a lot of it along the coast of South Carolina into North Carolina. GFS at least is indicating that the storm will pass extremely close to the coast near Charleston and beyond. Um, other models taking it just a little bit further out to sea, but it is starting to become a trend here developing where the storm could strike very close to Charleston and Wilmington. Sea surface temperatures are around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius still, very warm, enough to sustain this tropical cyclone at its current intensity. And here we are again looking at the GFS next few days, hurricane force winds just lingering off the coast of Georgia and then they go on to affect parts of South and North Carolina uh, towards the end of the week. There it is emerging off the coast towards the weekend, still a massive storm at that point and even larger um, and still has hurricane force winds when it strikes Nova Scotia by the weekend. And then it will move on to Newfoundland, it will turn post-tropical somewhere along the line there. Also still to point out, tropical storm chances around 40% for parts of Cape Cod. Chance of tropical storm force winds further south though, 91% at Port Orange. 69% in Jacksonville, 87% Savannah, 93% at Charleston and 83% in Wilmington. Those chances along the North Carolina and South Carolina coast still increasing. So today uh, the National Hurricane Center calling for the storm to uh, just hold on its intensity all day long. Oh, you can see those other models there, one or two forecasting a newer peak, another peak of a Category 3 later on today. That's because wind shear is fairly low, around the 10 knot range and the SSTs could take a bump upwards as well. Wind shear will rise again later on tonight, um, so this is the storm's last chance to gather some more pace and intensity as it approaches the coast of the Carolinas. You see on the left hand side there the model tracks um, calling for the storm to pass very close indeed to the coast of South Carolina, so we are looking very closely towards that being a possibility. Here is the storm right now. Hogan Force winds probably occurring in that inner core that's wrapping around the eye all the while. Um, tropical storm force winds occurring along the coast of Florida. That will remain the case because it's still only around 100 miles off the shore. Um, and tropical storm force winds extend outwards a little bit more than that. The eye is still looking somewhat frail, uh, but there is more convection, renewed convection blowing up, particularly towards the southern side of the storm this morning. Um, but you can see a dry slot that's just moving roll around the eye in those latest frames, starts towards the south, ends up east, moves north, uh, swirling around along with that convection as well. So it looks like it's got an open eye at this point, uh, but still it will probably hold intensity for another day at least. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. 
You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.